So this is day one of my journey. I already had info locks, so I went home and I started taking those down. And that's that. And so once I took all of my faux locks out, I had a bunch of two strand twists all over my head. So I used my crochet needle and instant locked my hair. And that is, well, this is what my hair looked like after I finished instant locking them. This is the crochet needle that I used to instant lock. So if you have not seen one, this is what it looks like. It says 70 or 0.75 millimeters. And the end is very, very tiny right there. It's extremely small. So you just use this to tangle up your hair. And at the end, you have beautiful locks. So this is what my hair was looking like about a month later. Uh, this was May. So it was about four weeks after I first did my, um, did the instant locks. And this is what they were looking like. So they already looked locked. So this is like day, not even day, this is like, I'm like a couple weeks into this thing. And yeah, it ain't been bad. I've been in the house mostly. I ain't had too much to do outside, so I've been chilling, but I just feel like when I go somewhere, it's going to be like, girl, but nobody looks at me weird. Nobody's looked at me funny. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I'm getting more comfortable with it already. It's just kind of, it is what it is. It's just hair. It's just your hair. It's my hair. You know, it just is what it is. But I'm excited. I'm excited for growth. I'm excited to look back and watch this and just be like, dang, you stuck with it, you know? So we'll see how it goes. <laughs> So this was another picture in May. My hair was freshly locked and I just felt so bland just leaving them down. So I tried to style them a little bit. So I did have some pigtails here. And I also wore just a lot of headbands to just get me through those first couple months. But later on in the summer, I did start feeling a little blah. So I installed some faux locks. And so I kept these locks in for about a month and I did all the things I had to do. Had a couple of appearances, a couple of photo shoots, stuff like that. And this was the last of my locks and then I took them out in July and I retwisted my hair. And so that is what you see here. And no, my retwist is not super tight. I just, I'm over tight hair. I will never have my hair too tight again. It's just not worth it. So this was 4th of July and we were going to my husband's family's house that day. And so I just tried some kind of little updo just to make my hair look like something. Um, I wasn't really sure about it, but I actually ended up getting a lot of compliments and his family made me feel really good about it. And they told me they love my locks and they were proud of me. And so that really helped. So I appreciated their support so much. It actually made it a lot easier. I felt more confident after this day because I was super nervous going to their house but after the whole day and after just hearing all the uh, compliments and the good things I felt so much more confident just trying other styles and so this is probably the next day you can see I braided the bang and then I undid it so it was curly and I just kept playing with different styles and so this is just two braids or two big twists up to the front I was trying to play with bangs because I felt like that's all I had was bangs. So this was my attempt at styling right in the beginning. I also wore a lot of headbands during the beginning of my journey just because it was very quick and easy and they were pretty and they come in all sorts of colors so I could find something to match whatever I was wearing. <clears throat> so I was just in the bathroom, I was getting ready, doing my makeup and stuff. And y'all can see it's raining out here, right? I started thinking about my loose natural hair when I 
Y'all, I got 4C hair, so I started thinking about my loose natural hair on a day like this, like when it used to rain. How Just how sad I would get. Like, I would be really sad on a day like today. And that's because I already know that my hair gonna shrink no matter what style I did, no matter how long I let that shit set. This shit was gonna shrink. It's gonna be an afro by the end of the day, and I already know, so. I used to just really get depressed when it rains like this, but. <clears throat> I think that's part of what makes me so grateful for my locks right now. It's because I don't have to be afraid to be out here. Like, I'm outside right now. I mean, look at my baby. Hey, baby. I'm outside right now. And I'm. And this was the next day I had in some, um, some space buns. I did not feel cute at all that day. And so a couple days later, I tried again to just do a new style. Um, I did the whole top of my hair braided back into pigtails and the back of my hair was just down. So in this next picture, I was going out with my friend Courtney. So I just put on a wig and ran out the door. And then the next day, I was looking at my new growth, and I just felt like I needed to retwist. So I went ahead and retwisted. And I was trying to practice doing a little style so I can let my hair dry. You can see I still don't have that much hair in the front around my edges. It was still growing in. But other than that, my hair was thickening up, and it was starting to bud. So I was really, really excited, and I was happy with the progress. So then I installed some box braids on the 1st of August, and this is a quick clip of how they looked. And once I took those down a couple weeks later, this is what my hair was looking like. And so I just couldn't believe, like, the growth that I had had. I was just, I was overwhelmed. I was so happy at this point. So right around this time, I started feeling more comfortable with my locks, and I was feeling kind of cute a little bit, um, but I was just so used to changing my hair that I was kind of itching just to do something different, and so I did go ahead and install some box braids. And so you see me here, I was going to a boat party, so I just, you know, had some fun with some green hair, why not? <laughs> so this is my hair again a couple days later and I was actually getting a tattoo this day so it's a little boomerang for my tattoo and it's my favorite so far I'm just obsessed with it I love hamsters so this is later in September I was five months locked and man I'm just so happy with the progress they're starting to thicken up just a little bit um even though I didn't want my ends to round off, my ends are starting to round off. Um, they're still a little curly on some places, but I was just really happy with the growth. And even in the front of my hair, you'll see I put in a new lock right there in the front because my hair was growing in so much. I couldn't believe I was making a new one. So here I am just trying some different uh, things with a headband just practicing and it looked cute in the front but it looked crazy as hell in the back <laughs> but right around this time I did notice I was like wait a minute my hair has grown out a lot 
I could not believe when I start looking at my pictures from the beginning compared to this month. There it is. I just couldn't believe that my hair was growing. So I was so excited. And then here I am with my mommy. And this is later in September. I went to Future's concert. And in October, I was on set for a video shoot. They were shooting uh, my friend's music video. And so I was in a couple of scenes. And this is the um, speakeasy that we were shooting at. And then we came back the next day to shoot at the PJ. But I was just looking a mess, y'all. I was having such a bad hair day this day. I'm glad I wasn't in any of the scenes. I was just there to watch. Thank God, because I was looking a mess. But I actually still took a picture with the McLaren anyway. <laughs> So here we are later in October and you can see my little wicks are just sprouting out. They're just coming on down. I just, uh, I'm just so thrilled with my progress. I've never had my hair grow so quickly. So to see these results and see it be consistent every month, my hair just getting longer and longer. I just get so excited every time I look at these pictures. So in November, we went to New Orleans. We had a penthouse there, me and my husband and some of his family members, his cousins. And we just had a good time. I've never been to New Orleans, so we were drinking mimosas. And it was a good time, yeah. And this is my hair. I was so, once again, I was so excited. It might not look like much, but it was it's everything to me. <laughs> and then so when we came back, this is my hair. Of course, I got bored again, so I tried some spray color. So that's what you see here, just spray color. Just trying to see something different. I get so bored with my hair. So I had a bunch of growth here, and I actually noticed the new locks that I started in the front, which you see here, were growing out as well. And so this is my hair after another retwist. And you can see my bangs are coming down. The hair in the back is starting to come down and cover my neck, finally, thank God. But overall, everything was just growing nicely. And so the next picture you can see, I tried to put it in an updo. So this was like the day after I went ahead and tried to put in a little updo. I just braided my hair up and put two space buns at the top. This is later in December, looking a little rough, but hey it'd be like that sometimes um but again i started to get bored so i put some lock sprinkles on my hair so that's what those silver beads are and then by january i just felt too blah so i put in some faux locks again and so i had those faux locks in for a few weeks and then i took them out and um i spent some time playing with headbands because at this point my hair had gotten so long at the bottom and it was uneven but the headbands helped a lot do I look like a baby with this bow on my head? <laughs> I'm just trying something different. Now I feel like a toddler. <laughs> so I look crazy, but this is February and I still have my lock sprinkles in. A lot of them fell out, but it's all good. This was my progress at the time and I was still really happy with it. So this was in my kitchen. This was the first time that I noticed that the bottom of my hair was really starting to touch my shoulders because I thought something was crawling on me. So I was excited. This is my cousin at her baby shower. And this is my first ponytail. So you can still see my progress. Um, this was March. I haven't taken a lot of pictures in March, so I apologize, but you can see my hair here. You can still see the, um, 
that it's still growing. My bangs have come down a whole lot. And this is March 31st. And so then I had to do some moving. So this is me in the moving truck. And I added lots of beads to my hair just for some color. But you can see how thick my locks are getting. They've thickened up a whole lot. And then this is April. This is my 12th month, so my one year. But I did always imagine dyeing my hair blonde on my first year. And I just could not get that thought out of my mind. So you guys, even though it's my one year lock journey, I put in some faux locks because I just, I needed some blonde hair. <laughs> but yeah, this is my first month all the way up into my 12th month. And I just... I can't have asked for a better journey. I don't feel like I had an ugly phase. I've embraced and enjoyed every part of my locks, my lock journey, and I'm just so grateful and so happy. And I hope y'all stick with me.